Hello, my name is Findimus, and in this video we're going to learn about using attribute selectors to style elements. Drinking some water. Sorry about that. If you want to follow along, link is in the description down below. Let's begin. You have been adding ID or class attributes to elements that you wish to specifically style. These are known as ID and class selectors. There are other CSS selectors you can use to select custom groups of elements to style. Let's bring out Cat Photo app again to practice using CSS selectors. For this challenge, you will use the attribute, which is ATTR equals the value attribute selector to style the checkboxes in cat photo app this selector matches and styles elements with a specific attribute value for example the below code changes the margins of all elements with the attribute type and corresponding value of radio type equals radio in quotes inside of brackets curly brackets excuse me margin and then the inline uh, clockwise notation pixels of 20 0 20 0 which is top right left uh, sorry top right bottom left so using the type attribute selector try to give the checkboxes in cat photo app a top margin of 10 pixels and a bottom margin of 15 pixels. The type attribute selector should be used to select the check boxes. Okay. So I'm not going to lie, I'm honestly a little bit confused, but we're going to work through this one objective at a time. This is how you're going to tackle these problems in real life anyways. So inside of the style brackets, we're going to declare type radio. Well, it's not radio. The example is radio, but oh, oops. They just put one quote instead of two. Using type attributor selector, we're going to give check boxes. So we're going to put check boxes here and then you're gonna put the curly brackets and you want the margin and uh, hmm. I guess they just put zeros top right bottom so we'll just do it how they have it in line and we'll just say uh, for the top they want 10 pixels then we'll just put 0 to keep the form correct for the editor to read it correctly and then for the bottom you want 15 pixels if you're confused about clockwise notation go back to the previous two videos and they talk about that specifically and then for the last which is the left side of the uh, margin of the checkboxes we'll put 0 again and close it off with a semicolon. Now, checkboxes was, I guess, down here. So let me see what happens, if anything. I'm looking here. You have these checkboxes here. Type equals radio type equals check boxes I don't th uh, I think it's just check box no s now that I'm looking at it so here instead of check boxes remove that should just be check box and the top margin of the check boxes should be 10 the bottom should be 15. So we're going to submit this. 
and we see that we have error. So now that I've tried, we're going to go ahead and get a hint since it's the most efficient way to use your time, in my opinion. So, let's see. Here's a problem explanation. You can also apply styling to elements by their attribute values. For example, if you want to style all the checkboxes on the page, you can do type equals checkbox and then the styling this also works with custom attributes. Let's say you have two elements attributed named foo, F-O-O. -O. You can use attribute to style them differently. So in the code it says foo equals bar, foo equals best. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we'll go back. The only thing I could think of is that maybe this should not be in the style tab. Let me go back up and reread this. Mm. the type attribute equals oh, okay I'm missing a bracket goodness it's always one thing like that <laughs> I was like I think I'm typing it correctly all right we'll run the test and that's what I was missing goodness sometimes you just miss a semicolon or a bracket and you can think you're doing everything right and it could be that it could be a browser error with the code I mean I don't know these things happen so there we go that was <laughs> the lesson Woo! in real time okay 52% of the way complete with basic CSS good job everybody hit submit save your work and we'll go to the outro page Thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it, then click the like button. If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments down below. I am Findimus, and I will see you later. Have a good day, everybody.